So yes, finally, finally, finally. So of course I'm back with another really quick. Of course, of course, progress. Let Duck and Bob video. So we actually got some good new news, of course, for Duck right here. We got the full campaign for Duck and Bob Fighters. For Andrew 18, her Duck and Fest and everything. She had a new Duck and Fest, a new Duck and Fest event. Uh, new banner. All that stuff, of course, is live right now. So we have a whole bunch of new stuff here. Again, this is for both Global and JP. We got her banner up, of course, though. Looking awesome, looking clean. We got some special missions in here, of course, as well. And we got just a lot of new stuff in here overall, though. And of course, the new campaign, new um, Link State 18. Um, new characters, of course, a new EZA, a new Awakening unit. Again, it's it's crazy right now. But yeah, her banner actually isn't that bad, though. Actually, it's pretty good. Um, it's not like the you know the best banner in the world, but it has some decent stuff on it, though. So this is global version. Jamie's version is a little bit different. Let me turn it down a little bit. It's a little loud for me. So, Ooh, that was really loud. Sorry about that. I turned it down a little bit. Uh, song, I realized song so loud. Um, but yeah, her banner actually isn't that bad. That was actually pretty, pretty good. Uh, again, kills on here. Of course, she hasn't been back in a little bit. Um, of course, this is JP's version, so pretty much they just added kill on there in trunks, of course, because they yeah, came back since the release, so it makes sense. Killed him back a few times on global, but that was like, oh yeah, I know she was going to be back anyway. But I mean, eh, I mean, at least she's decent though. I mean, you just had God Goku and you know, everybody else from 2021, so slash 2022 a little bit. But I mean, hey, uh, not bad though, not bad. Her band is actually pretty decent, like I said. New 18s look are amazing. Uh, Kale's still pretty good though when she transforms and everything. Super 17 still good though. He can get her a lot, but he's still decent. Gambit is still good. I think these guys are still good. I don't know, we're not. But yeah, and of course, same thing on here. Trunks is, um, I think literally when Trunks transforms, he is one of the best units in the game. Like when he goes full on Super Trunks, like he, I think he's one of the best units in the game. Potentially, people have been saying that for a few months. I can say so too. I think it's been about four, three months since it came out. I might be thinking like five, maybe. I don't know. I'm just overthinking it a little bit though. But I mean, hey, not bad though, not bad. Uh, of course, her banner, like I said, it's up and everything. It's a ticket version on Global. And yeah, I mean, the banner looks good, like as always. And of course, you know, it's good. Like, it is a good banner, but I'll probably say you can skip it if you want to. It's not a bad banner to summon on, but get 21. It's going to be back in the future. Maybe, like, two or three banners. Like, maybe I want to say definitely, probably, maybe March? Maybe February? Because Valentine's Day? Maybe. I feel like she might be that back then, so. Probably won't take her too, too long, though. But, yeah, I mean, Sayu 21 is still good, though. She's going to be on every banner moving forward. And we're going to 21's amazing, too. Like, she's really, really good. Um, and of course, like I said, we got special missions here. Like, we get Dragon's Towns, Hourglasses, Pop Control Shells, uh, Hercule, Dozing Off Hercule. We we'll get some um, more 18s from, um, like the missions. You can get her, like, the, um, I believe you get her, the, the level 10, um, level 10, um, for Super Attack. You can get her, her potential stuff, though, her, um, her own meadows that she awakens from. Um, but yeah, again, it'll tell you how, like, how to do it and everything, though. So, like I said, it's not that bad. Just doing, like, missions from the, um, just from the, um, Stuff that you do every like they'll just do the missions on the Dragon Ball Fighters collab. So yeah, we got that. Um, but yeah, of course, like I said, I'm gonna be doing all this on stream though, so it won't take too too long to do. So not bad though. Of course, like I said, we got even more logo bonus stuff with some um, other other guys. We got of course Beerus Planet and stuff again. We're starting the game, you know, fighter fighters and everything. And of course, you know, eighteen. I uh, know. Um, uh, uh, I say seventeen hourglasses. You get five dragon stones. You get five eighteens. Um. Let me see. Got okay, 14 stones, Elder Kai, 19, oh dang, 19 in total stones. That's not, that's not bad, actually. About 19 to 20 stones pretty much a whole entire month. So, you know. I, I just had like 30 some of the stones from just, um. Oh, I a sprite. That thing's good. But yeah. We'll see. We actually just had some, um, new, um. Oh. That, that was strong. But I just got some stones from just like the down celebration, some other little stuff that I had um, just bottled up for months. Uh, but yeah, um, yeah, you get the Link State 18 from just missions, you know, working her medals. You get more stones, you get um, Oda Kai's, Beerus Plan. Not bad, but not bad. There's our campaign, there's a new 18, um, Link State, and of course we got 21's EZA. Uh, let's go over 21's EZA. I want to go. Do the Link State first or do the 21? I'll do. I'll do. Does not which one I do? Hmm. Yeah, let's do so I'll do Link State first. I'll do Link State. So she does on um, crossover key three all sets of fifty percent. Uh she'll probably like I said get easy A though. I feel like that either skill is kind of obvious, but she does so much already though, so I'm just like, oh boy. Uh because usually you just like two key fifty percent for easy A. So she might get her own easy A area, we don't know. She's a very unit you can really get though, so yeah. Reserve attack effect raises greatly raises attack and defense up for one turn. Stream damage lowers attack, not bad there. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, we got a lot on here. Okay, so her, um, 
Progressive does attack defense of 100%, plus another attack defense of 20%, which each passing with each turn on pass by up to max at 100, plus an additional another attack defense of 50% when doing a support attack, plus another attack defense of 100%, and there's another entrance or crossover category ally in the, in the same turn, or entrance category ally or crossover enemy. Um, Andrew's category gets key one attack defense of 30% plus additional key one defense up 20% for um, characters who also belong to the crossover category. Um, starting from the third turn from the character's um, entry turn, covers 18% HP as sort of a character's second turn. Key two plus additional attack plus 180 for five turns. HP is 80% or less at the start of a turn only once. Sword links are Brainiacs, Twin Terrors, Andrew's Soul, Shocking Speed, Battlefield, Diva, Infinite Every Year, Shattering the Limit. Her, her crossover, her category, her, cro her categories are crossover, Puppet Gals, Androids, Siblings, Bond, Worthy Rival, Battle of Woods, Parent, Bond, Parent, and Child. I was like, I knew she was going to be on that many categories to get. She's a crossover unit. She literally built like a hero's unit. Like, you got to use her on the Android team or a crossover team. I feel like, like the hero's units, though, they just cross over to that team. They're literally just like, they all had to be used in one team. Uh, her with Android slash crossover could be pretty disgusting. I mean, you probably use her on Androids mainly. Um, but you want to run like a hero, the hero's units, which is crossover. It's like 500, uses like 500 crossover units. But, um,. I feel like she'd be a pretty good support, support attacker, you know, et cetera, et cetera. I feel like she's actually pretty good. I can, I, like, I can see her do some good damage. You know, she's a free by unit, you know, stats and everything wise, but, um, yeah, I feel like she might use the A, honestly. Her stats, let me see. Oh, she has 10k defense. I feel like she might get an easy A. She feels like she might get an easy A. Because her stuff is so little, but all the heroes units are, she's built like, like a hero's character or crossover character, so I'm just like, okay, it's not too, too bad. Hmm. I know. I think she's decent, though. I think she'll do some really good stuff. I think she's actually pretty good. A <laughs> good version. A <laughs> good version evil. Oh, I was a good version evil. Good versus evil. Okay. I was like, what the world? But yeah, of course. Um, this Android um twenty one actually got an easy. This is her um, um transformed evil um no transformed um good form. So she does um enters category key three. All set. I'm not gonna worry about things with categories. They don't change. It's only the literal skill as a effect and non passive. Uh. Hey, she does enter with key three, all set um, all set to save seven percent or in extra or in types key three all set to fifty percent. Super attack effect, raise attack for one turn supreme damage. Uh it's an enemy recovers seven percent seven percent HP. Her passive does um, attack defense up one twenty one, not bad. Plus additional attack defense up twenty one percent per Android's category ally attacking in the same turn. Plus additional attack defense up twenty one per um per absorption category ally attacking in the um, same turn. If all allies attacking the same turn or androids, power absorption category and uh, characters, which is pretty much gonna be her team. Like I said, like the crossover 18, so she's gonna have to be used on those teams. Plus additional attack defense up to 121, performing a super attack and attack and super attack and seals the enemy's attack, super attack for two turns for HP 6 percent or more. I think it could probably come in handy a little bit. Again, not like the newer events, but some older events that can come in handy. I think those gonna be pretty useful when attacking androids or power absorption category allies. Key three attack defense up 30%. Okay, so she mainly is a support unit. Pretty much support and attack unit, though. Kind of balance up both. That's not bad. I like that. That can be pretty good. Again, for like a free to play, you know, Android Steam slash up power absorption. She could be a good hidden unit for like a super battle run, maybe. Or like a battlefield run. Yeah, these two, could be, these two are actually pretty good. I don't mind it. That's, that's nice. That's nice. I like that. Like I said, 18 feels like a group struck by heroes unit. Just need to make her for androids. And she's pretty much like 18 a little bit, though. But again, you gotta, you know, restrict them to the team, the category. That's how it is. All these crossover units. Again, we just had heroes. We just have this. They're gonna be made for their own specific teams, or two teams, one team, whatever, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, so I get it, but I mean, they're not bad though. I feel like I can see them being pretty useful in the future. So they might die off in like a year, but who cares? All right, let's do the campaign stuff though. Are you guys ready for this? I have one for everything. I just I did. Okay. All right, perfect. All right, let's go over the uh, campaign now. So yeah, let's go over it. Uh, so of course we got the Dragon Ball Fighters campaign. We got the 18 when you log in, you get five of her. You know, on the current potential system, you get more formations, get her medals, missions, you get five Dragon Stones. Not bad, though. Not bad on the 29th. So of course we got Lucky Bows, but your missions. I just went over that. Um, the Dragon Fest. Oh, Dragon Ball Fighters pack. Yo, go look at that pack. So let's go. Yeah, that's for the um, of course, P Loves Crow again. JP, my God, again JP and Global Celebration are really, really similar. So yeah, I actually did see Easy in here. That's actually really good. Uh, of course we got discounts, typical stuff. Uh, new Android support um, category banner, Yoda Kai banners on the 14th, maybe 13th. We're gonna see the probably the Christmas stuff, which usually is around that time. Though. For JP, they'll get a new unit probably. Um, it's usually corresponding with this, so maybe a Goku and Dragon Ball Fighters unit. I don't know. It's usually corresponding with this, you know, 13 Android 13 in November or just last December. Then we had, of course, you know, 
Super Wrong Stop Goku. We had um, Tech Androids, and we had, you know, Future Gohan. We had Fibber Hatchack, then, like, you know, um, Carnival, Go Carnival Hatchack, um, the special, like, Goku, Gohan, Piccolo, Trunks, and um, Vegeta uh, from last year, I believe. So, um, yeah. Because we know we're getting the year, like, get a lot of Dragon Fest for probably Global and JP. That's a big idea for the end of the year, Dragon Fest. But, I mean, yeah, probably Global will probably see Omega here. I like I said, it's pretty much, I guess, filler to, like, you know, <laughs> I mean, Global Good JP could be having something here similar, so. Maybe the similar LR, I don't know. Because, I mean, all this stuff ends on the, you know, 14th there for Odakai. Because, again, it could be you know, Omega. JP could be it could get a new LR corresponding to the, probably this. Maybe like a 17, 18, 16, Ender 21, I don't know. Like, Evil LR 21, I don't know. Uh, of course, I mean, by Link Level Balls now for Global. New Duck Festival for Ender 18, um, Ender 21, which looks awesome. That looks awesome. We got more Duck and Awakening missions. I love that. So pretty much using, using like categories, certain categories corresponding to her. It'll probably be like crossover, you know, androids. You know, use those categories slash. You know, you get certain missions done, do certain stipulations, get more medals. So yeah, that's good though. Of course, we got our brand new nuking events for the um, androids. So pretty much like some of the Dragon Ball heroes. You know, you got a nuking event. You bring in characters. You do damage in a certain amount under a certain amount of turns. You do a lot of damage. You get a lot of rewards, etc., etc. Of course, the fighters. Um, ooh, excuse me, sorry about that. Fire's um Dragon Ball Story event is back, so that's good though. Battle is coming back. We got a new Android um twenty one chain battle, which we already saw. Car looks very similar to like a regular unit. Oh yeah, this. Yeah, we got the LR seventeen, eighteen, and sixteen. I'm getting the EZA, so maybe they'll be good. They I mean they sucked already though, but I mean whatever is whatever. So we know they sucked. Uh, they were good for like maybe like a month or two and then they probably died them off, so whatever is whatever. They're not bad though. I mean uh, I mean not that I mean, I didn't even say that. They sucked now, but I mean I mean, hey, we could see something new. I do actually do have them, though. So, unfortunately, yes, I do have them. Look. But, I mean, hey, like I said, it could probably be a good unit. I probably can see them being probably like a program Android support. The mass, the mass is good potential, but probably just like I said to Android's team. Android 17 events coming back, so you can awaken them. Uh, something goes for this. You can get 16. Another Android event. Restore event. It's pretty much it. Like I said, it's just not that much in here. So, like I said, it's just a crossover thing, I guess. Like, you know, like oh, yeah, they're getting an ETA. But that's a good surprise, though. I like that, though. I feel like they could probably be good. Maybe give them some Android support. But like I said, they'll probably be like this anyway, though. But not a bad campaign, though. Pretty good. Like I said, it definitely does feel like a filler campaign, honestly, though. But I mean, because, you know, it's typical crossover stuff that, you know, it's like a week long, week or two long, then it just dies off. So, but I mean, hey, whatever's whatever, though. We're going to get a new month tomorrow. I attempt recording anyway, though. So, yeah. I mean, not bad of a campaign, though. I could take it or leave it. Like I said, it definitely does feel like a, you know, throwing campaign, you know, go but we can share this, you know, they can have this. But yeah. Um, not bad, another bad. I was only for her to honestly be 21. Not honestly, I uh, she wasn't gonna be back until like another month or two. But yeah, see you guys there, though. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Great. I'm going to again, though. Be sure to stay safe. Wash hands. I'll pass all of you going out. Put on your mask. Don't toilet paper. If you're really interested, you can make stuff you can. Besides, I'm going to copy them. Show them off for some Discord social network. Where you guys are awesome. We got to, we got to think about all this info, though. Of course, like you hate it again. Gonna go, um, go get, get ahead and start ordering some groceries. Go ahead, go, gonna go ahead and get my, um, you know, weekend, you know, Friday started and stuff like that up. Gonna go ahead and start, um, editing this video and stuff like that. But yeah, see you guys there, though, again, though. Peace out.